Diffuse optical imaging. This is the name of an imaging technique used in medicine. It's a fairly new imaging technique and it's hoped it will be utilised more in hospitals in the future, particularly for breast cancer, since it's a cheap, effective and safe imaging technique. So what is it? Well, diffuse optical imaging, also known as DOI for short, uses light in the infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum in order to produce images of the body. How does DOI do this? Well, first a source of infrared light is placed on the skin. The light then passes through the skin and interacts with the tissue beneath. By interacts, I mean the light gets reflected or absorbed by parts of the tissue. After getting scattered by the tissue, any infrared light that hasn't been absorbed is detected by a detector that sits on the skin. This then allows an image of the tissue to be created by mapping out the scattering of the light. Use of DOI in diagnosing breast cancer. As stated earlier, the infrared light gets absorbed or reflected by the tissue, and the main absorber in tissue of infrared light is a substance called haemoglobin. Haemoglobin is a protein in red blood cells that transports oxygen in the blood. The fact that infrared light gets absorbed by haemoglobin is particularly useful in the diagnosing of breast cancer, since there is a higher haemoglobin concentration in tissue with cancer than there is in normal tissue. So if there was less light returning to the detector than expected, it means there was more absorption of the light, which indicates a higher than normal haemoglobin concentration, which in turn indicates the patient has breast cancer. So overall, diffuse optical imaging uses infrared light to produce images. It's particularly effective in the diagnosing of breast cancer, and DOI is useful because it's cheap and safe, since the only possible harm is heating caused as a result of the infrared light, but these effects are essentially negligible since they're so small. This is why diffuse optical imaging is becoming more prevalent in hospitals, 